Welcome to this video about the Detroit River between Windsor and Detroit. My name is Bob Jones. I hope you like this video and subscribe to support the channel. The Detroit River is a 30 mile stretch of water that separates Detroit, Michigan in the United States from Windsor in Ontario, Canada. It connects to Lake St. Clair and Lake Erie and is one of the busiest waterways in the world, connecting the Great Lakes of Lake Superior and Lake Erie. Detroit city population increased from under 500,000 in 1910 to over 1.8 million at the city's peak in 1950. However, the 2020 census data showed Detroit with 639,000 residents, while estimates from 2019 put the city's population at 670,000 residents. Windsor, Ontario is located across the Detroit River from Detroit. Windsor has a population of 222,000 according to the 2021 Canadian Census. The Detroit River helped Windsor grow into a major industrial centre and the city is known for its automotive industry. Rapid industrialization at the turn of the 20th century led to the Detroit River becoming notoriously polluted. For decades, the river received untreated waste discharges from industrial use and inputs from urban development and storm water runoff, which degraded the river to the point it became undrinkable. However, the 1970s and 1980s saw the development of a massive conservation effort aimed at cleaning up the Detroit River. Over the last decade, the Detroit River has undergone significant changes, with millions of dollars being spent to reverse the damage caused by decades of industrial pollution and building along the shoreline. Habitat restoration work is in the planning and design stages or is under construction at various locations, benefiting the ecology of the Detroit River. Restoration efforts have resulted in a resurgence in wildlife in and around the Detroit River, making it a popular destination for tourists. The cleanup of the river has had a positive impact on local economy, with increased tourism, job creation, improved property values, and increased businesses activity being some of the benefits. Despite the progress made in the Detroit River, some challenges remain. Long-term goals aimed at restoring the river's health and ecosystem with the removal of contaminated sediment, habitat restoration, continued monitoring, collaboration and environmental justice need continued funding to succeed. In conclusion, the damage done due to negligence during growth along the Detroit River has been reversed with the responsible efforts to stop the pollution of our waterway and restore the beloved Detroit River to as it should be. This video only touches on the history of the pollution and restoration of the water between Windsor and Detroit. The Detroit River has come a long way on the path to recovery, and with continued efforts, it will continue to be an important part of Windsor-Detroit area for generations to come. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.